Welcome to another episode of the Wandering Watercolor. Today we are painting the first page of the Date Night Watercolor Coloring Book. It's a book that I made specifically for couples that want to paint together for either date night or Valentine's Day. And it's basically, uh, it's actually two books in the packet. It's two uh, five-page books in the packet that a couple can sit down and paint together. And I do include two brushes to go along with that. And um, yeah, let's move over to the drawing table. Basically, this is the image. This is the first page. And this is what it'll look like once we are done. Now, the paint that I use it's also available for purchase. Uh, everything will be in the description if you're interested. Um, otherwise, you can use any paint. Any paint is perfectly fine. Um, as long as it's... I, I always recommend using the ones that come in the tubes um, and then squeezing them out into little pans. Uh, if you just buy the cakes outright, those are usually not very good um, as far as watercolor goes. But um, otherwise, I always uh, recommend having... Um, a little plate this is a soap dish you can get it at any uh, general store um, but basically a soap dish a plate anything works just so you have an area to mix your paint on um, and this is the brush that comes with two two of these brushes come with the packet and um, I always also like to have a scrap piece of paper so I can just test out strokes and then clear off my brush if I need to um, a rag just you know for cleaning up things and um, a cup of water, jar of water, and that's all that you really need. And we can go ahead and get started. So I'm just gonna get some water, and first thing I'm gonna do actually is just kind of like put some, put a little bit of water on all of these. Um, that helps reactivate them a little quicker and easier, um, especially if you're wanting to pick up more of the pigment to make things more vibrant. Um, I always like to make things extra vibrant just because I think it helps things read better. Um, oh, got a little bit over here. No problem. And the first color that we will work on is the green. We'll go ahead and we'll grab some green. We'll add a little bit of this uh, yellow ochre. And get a little more green. And then darken it up with a little bit of the brown. Brown. Uh, I think that was brown sienna. And a little bit of blue. Just to uh, make it just a little darker. So that looks good so far. But we'll go ahead and... we. It's, it's a little bit too much on the brown side. So we'll get a little more green. Just so that we push it back more towards green. So that it looks, looks better. Okay, that's good. So we will start right up here. We'll go right in this stem. Make sure that you don't have too much paint on your brush because then it'll be harder to control. And just start right there. I'm trying to make sure that I'm not blocking the camera. So I'm kind of going in at a little awkward angle. Go right there and then bring that down and just follow the little stem. Okay, right there, and then there's a leaf right here. We'll go ahead and we'll color that in too. What we're doing is um, the little stem over here of the flower. What we're doing right now is just establishing what are called flat washes. Um, there's no real texture or shadow to them. It's just basically establishing the color of the object that we're painting. And then we're just going to add a little bit back here and try to avoid some of the, the flowers. Uh, you can see some of the flower heads. Uh, we're basically doing the background leaves. Um, if you get a little bit inside of the lines like I just did right there, not a big deal. Don't even worry about that. And then we'll grab that back here. Just kind of going in different areas and we will go back and darken some of these but right now we're just establishing the base color ok 
okay and also this little stem right here go like this and also right here for these two going like this and like this okay so that's good next we're just gonna grab the color just straight as it is we're not gonna we're not gonna add any other color to it but we do want to pick up um, a little more of the pigment there we go and then we will go ahead and color in uh, let's see that's too much too much on the brush go ahead and color in right here this leaf just like that and this leaf back here and then all of this right here it's okay if it blends a little bit with the with the other color that we just laid in um, it can actually create some interesting textures and make it more interesting to the eye uh, to see the different colors kind of blending into one another um, that's often I often enjoy seeing the different color blends in watercolor paintings okay so we have that that add a little in here now a lot of this that we're putting in we will darken up we'll da darken it up by a lot um, once we start adding in the shadows um, so this isn't the final color um, it it will look a little more different once we get to that get to that step I'll go in right here and right here the stem of these flowers okay and then right there just go slowly and it's okay if you go a little bit outside of the outside of the line not a problem and we're actually gonna go ahead and add a little more green right here on top of this one okay so that's good and these little stems coming out of the flower we'll add a little bit of green there so that's good rinse my brush i'm going to get a little bit of yellow a little bit of yellow and i'm going to add it right here and also at the base of the flowers or the flower petals that are coming out like that and then also these little dots both of them i rinse off my brush and dry off my brush a little bit and grab some more of the pigment and then keep going with the leaf back here and going in perfect and then a little bit of the stem right here and right here and then the leaf back here and then also another leaf so that's looking good I rinse off my brush at any moment feel free to pause the video and step back and take a look at um, the colors and composition how it looks uh, that's always a good practice to get into and then we're gonna grab some of this blue uh, there's two blues they look kind of similar but one of them is ultramarine ultramarine and the other one is cobalt the cobalt one is um, brighter and it's, it's a little more vibrant the ultramarine is deeper darker um, so we are getting a bunch of the cobalt cobalt blue and then we're also going to get some of the um, there's a pink there's kind of like a reddish pink that I got a little bit too much of it actually um, gonna mix in some more of the cobalt and really what we're doing is we're trying to get a um, we're mixing we're mixing this blue right here and it has a very slight uh, kind of like a, a violet tint to it yeah I definitely put way too much too much of the pink in there that's okay it's an easy fix I'll just keep adding the the blue the cobalt 
and so that's looking pretty good but if we do a couple of test strokes um, it's very pigmented so it's it's very saturated so what we'll do is just grab a little bit of it and then kind of dilute it because the first the initial flat wash the the color that we establish on the bottom we want it to be the less less intense so that's still way too intense I'm gonna rinse off my brush and then just pick up what's right here and then see how much sorry gotta put it closer see how much um, this is much less saturated than this so this is what we're, we're going for is the exact same color is just a lot more water so it's a much lighter wash I'm just gonna grab that and then just go all over this flower right here and then just gonna go just like that and then leave it so that it can dry and rinse off my brush and then this color right here this green we're actually going to change it to a more blue green I'm gonna grab the ultramarine and we do need a darker blue green but actually I'm gonna pick some of that up and I'm just gonna rinse off my brush completely add water like pick up some of the water add it in here and then add a bunch of the blue and that's just about the color that we need let me just test it out a little more blue just a little more you'll see what I'm talking about just a little more blue we're almost there and it looks about right perfect okay and then I'm gonna rinse off my brush and while keeping the brush wet I'm gonna get a little bit of this corner so that it's uh, again a diluted we don't want it to be as saturated as that we want it to be diluted so it's more of a wash a base wash and we're gonna use this to establish the color for the leaves that are coming down this way and I know it looks a little darker right now, but as it dries, it'll lighten up. So that's okay. And we're just gonna lay it all in for all of this right here. There, there. Okay. And here. And just take your time. No need to rush. Uh, I'm used to kind of going quick, um, but feel free to either slow down the video or pause it at any time. Okay, so that looks good. I rinse my brush. And then, we're gonna focus on this flower right here I got a little bit of blue in this so I'm just gonna kind of clear it off rinse my brush and then with this I just need a, a very small amount just a little bit and then I'm mixing up um, again a base layer a base wash and what I'll do is I'm just gonna lay in some right here and don't don't color in the whole thing um, the bottom the bottom petal you can color in the whole thing but right here we're gonna leave this white and then I'm just gonna grab some yellow yellow right from here and I'm just gonna lay that in up here I'm gonna dry off my brush and then just run around run across the edge where the pink meets the yellow because that'll make them blend in slightly, but you don't want to, um, you don't want to completely get rid of the yellow, and you don't want it to completely mix in with the pink. Because what it, what it does is it gives like a little bit of a gradation of the yellow um, transitioning into the pink, and then we're just gonna leave it just like that and let it dry off. 
then what we're going to do is with our brush still wet has a little bit of water on it we're just going to pick off a small amount of pink just a small amount of pink what we're aiming for is to have a, a very faint wash like that that's perfect a faint wash for these petals right here so we just grab that and then I just color them in completely just very slowly and the ones back here okay okay that looks good we're gonna rinse off our brush and then we're just gonna pick up some yellow and then we're gonna go this entire area right here where all these little daisies are at least i think they're daisies don't quote me i'm not very good with flowers i'm gonna cover all these and this one we're gonna keep we're gonna keep it blank and these like we're gonna keep these and this one blank but all of the other ones we're just gonna color them in and even if you end up accidentally color coloring in one of them uh yellow one of these ones up here don't don't even worry about it it's it'll look just fine okay so we're coloring all all these in those are good rinse my brush I'm gonna pick up a little bit more pink and kind of add water maybe rinse off my brush add a little bit more water and make it um, more of a wash again and we're gonna take that and just put it all in this flower put it all in here Okay, that looks good. Dry off my brush and kind of with the dry brush, pick up a bunch of this pigment over here. Dry off your brush multiple times if you need to. What you'll notice is as you pick it up and, and don't be don't be shy about it, like really get in there and really kind of pick it up because what ends up happening is you start to notice a gradation from the more pigmented area to the lighter area where you're picking up a bunch of the color um, that's just to give it more of an effect of a color transitioning effect makes it look a little more pleasant um, and rinse off my brush dry it off and then do that again there we go I know it looks very faint right now but we're building up the colors as we go so it's just a step-by-step -step process okay and I'm gonna keep these colors as they are. If you have a plate, if you have like a larger plate, um, that's just move on to a, an area that's empty. Um, otherwise, you can always just get another plate uh, or another surface to mix on. Uh, my my area right here is pretty small. That's why I just um, I have two of these, so I can switch them out and uh, go back and forth between colors. Um, the next color we will mix we'll be getting a little bit of this uh, yellow ochre and then a little bit of the pink just a little bit that's probably good a little bit of water so we can dilute it a little and then some yellow and that's just about maybe a little more yellow yeah there we go that's that's our, about the color that we're needing and we are just going to do a flat wash in this plant right here. Oh, it's too much. We need more water. It's too uh, too saturated. Um, let me dry off my brush a little bit. There we go. That's good. So we're just going to fill in this this flower. Just filling it all in. And also this flower. Just fill it all in. And this flower. Perfect. Uh, rinse off our brush. And actually, I'm going to grab just a little bit of pink and just dilute it a little bit. 
um, I forgot to color in. So these flowers up right here, they're a similar shade to these ones right here. So we can just grab that, go right in like that, like that. I know it looks kind of like heavy on the pink, but it'll it'll dry. Actually, you can go ahead and just dry your brush and then just kind of pick off a bunch of it. And just, yeah, and just leave it like that. That's good. And next, we can go ahead and focus on placing some red. And just red straight from the straight from the pan. We're not gonna really mix it with anything. Just grab some, kind of work it in a little bit. Let me see. Let me make sure it's not because red is a strong color. You don't really want it to be too saturated. Um, so that's pro. That's fine. Th this is this will work just fine. So we'll go ahead and we'll. Lay that in right there. And then also right there. The entire flower. Just cover it all in. I'm going to dry off my brush. And then pick up some of the excess. Kind of like we did with this flower. And dry it off. And pick up the excess. And same right here, we're just gonna pick that up. And there's also another red flower right here. And get some more of the red and just put that in right there. Okay, I rinse off my brush. And now we're gonna color in these ones right here. All of these are uh, kind of a violet color, so we'll grab a little bit of the pink. A little bit of the pink. We'll just work with this little area that we have right here. I rinse off my brush and then grab a bunch of the cobalt blue. And that's, yeah, that's about perfect. Wow, got that on the first try. How about that? Okay. And then just go in and just do the base base wash and there and there and just all of these just color color them in with the violet and then right there right there and actually this one too Okay, the, the pink color that this flower is, I, I got it on there a little bit, but that's fine because it's very close to that color. So we're good on that. I rinse off my brush. Feel free to step back just for a moment. Okay, looking good so far. Now we're just going to go ahead and get a little bit uh, more of a concentrated pink. And with this concentrated pink, we're gonna establish some shadows and definition. First, we'll go into this flower right here and kind of fill in like on the inside of the flower and then a little bit on the bottom right here, kind of going along this the line, just a little bit like that. Same with this part of the flower, just go in there we go. We're just going to leave that as it is. And then these ones up here, we're just going to make a little bit of a mark on the petals like that, like that, like that. I know it looks like a very strong color, but when it dries, it'll dull down a lot. And then these petals right here. And then also in the middle, there's dots in these flowers. You just go ahead and put a little, just a little dot. And a little dot, a little dot. There, 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 there. Okay, so we're good on that. We're gonna grab a little more of the pink and then a little bit on the petals of these flowers and then also in the center and same thing like that 
Just a little. You don't have to do a lot. It's just a little bit. Okay, we're good on that. Rinse off my brush. And now I'm going to switch back to the other colors that I had. So wherever you're mixing your colors on, you're, you're going to want to go back to the dark blue that we mixed. Or kind of like the slightly, slightly violet dark blue. And then you're going to pick up a bunch of the more saturated, more pigmented area of your palette. And then we're going to add some outlines right down here like that. Like that and just kind of like lines where the petals are and more towards the bottom and kind of less so towards the top um, towards the top it's more just like little lines not so much blobs um, because we're trying to emphasize that towards the bottom there's more shadow towards the top there's less shadow but still some definition of the petals okay so that looks good I'm rinse off my brush and then we're gonna use this color that we mixed previously we're gonna add a little more blue a little more blue because we want to darken it up um, a little more water want to darken it up um, to add the shadows for this area and a little more green. Okay, I'm gonna need a little more water. Okay, a little more blue. So that looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and start filling in. And basically, a little more back here because it's kind of like hiding behind a bunch of the other flowers. You can leave a little bit of a highlight here and there. And this and, and then as you move more out, just like we did here, um, at the base of where the the stem is coming from, we're gonna add more shadows. And as it comes out, we're just adding like a little bit of like lines here and there and outline, just to give it more shape, like that. Plants have a certain amount of. Uh, almost like chaos to them just because of how much information there is in them um, so don't obsess over making the exact strokes you try and make it feel more like there's order there but there's also an element of chaos to how they look uh, that's one of the things that makes uh, floral arrangements so interesting to look at and paint um, let me go like that so that's that's good right there we will go back in later on to add another layer, but for now that's good. And you'll notice it looks very dark. This looks very dark, but as it dries, it lightens up. Just like the colors up here, they're lightening up a, a bit. These colors, they, well, they stay pretty saturated there. Um, I, I'm willing to bet that they're not fully dry. Um, but yeah. Oh, and up here for these ones, I want to switch back to the other get get in um, where your red is just maybe add a little more and just make these the tips of these flower petals red like that like that like that oh a trick that if you're not very experienced with watercolor um, if you just use the tip of the brush, you can get really fine lines, but if you press down, you can get really fat lines. But then what you can do when you're making um, like petals of flowers, for example, you can press down and then as you're going into the stroke, you can just kind of let up and it, just, it gives you a thinner stroke. So you can kind of almost like cheating a little bit. See what I mean? Like going in and then letting up slowly you can kind of get the flower petals that way um, like or you can go the other way you can go from thin and then just kind of press in thin and press in thin and press in 
and you you get the idea um but don't don't like obsess over it if it doesn't come out exactly right it's just have fun with it that's that's the most important thing as long as you're having fun with it okay so we've done quite a lot actually let's see how does it look pretty good uh we're a little more than halfway done with this i'd say we're about maybe 60 to 70 percent done um so let me switch back to this plate and uh, obviously if you have a bigger plate at home you don't have to like keep switching back and forth between different plates and then the green the green that we have here i'm gonna grab a bunch of it And then I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna color this right here. Now I'm being a little more bold, a little more opaque. Um, there's a lot more pigment in this. It's less water, more pigment, because it makes it, um, you can make more um, distinct lines. It, it makes, it helps give definition when it's like uh, adding shadows basically. Because it blocks, it blocks off a lot of the white from the, from the color underneath. Okay, add a little bit there, a little bit there, and it gives variation too. It makes it more interesting to the eye. Okay, and I'm gonna actually get a bit of the a bit of the brown. And grab a bunch. Kind of work it in. And a bit of the blue, kind of tr really try to darken that green. We're not going for this color, we're just wanting to darken the green itself. So that looks pretty good. And then we are gonna fill in right underneath here. Like all of this, all of this is a darker green, it's just like a shadow. And back here a little bit, and back here. Maybe underline this leaf coming there. Give a little bit of a form to this one. And maybe go over that a little bit. And then you'll notice that as we add more darker, like it really it really helps some of it kind of like pop out. Like because you're 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 giving more of a contrast between the light and the dark areas. So it helps helps some areas stand out more like there's something um, that the lighter areas have to contrast again against which makes it seem more uh, more defined basically more vibrant it's just better to look at there we go okay Okay, and I rinse off my brush. Let me put that to the side and then go back to this. What we'll do here is I'll grab a little bit of the darker blue and then kind of mix it in here for the violet and then also a little bit of the pink. Oh, that's too much. Grab that. A little more, and a little more blue, and more blue, there we go. Okay, so this is good. Now we can use this color to add some of the outlines and shadows in the violet petals down here, like that. And back here. That. Okay, looks good. I rinse off my brush and then just go straight for the for the red. And we don't want a lot of water. We are going for more pigment now since we're adding definition. So using that, we'll go in. Let me make, but you definitely want to make sure that you're not having too much on your brush because what will happen is it'll make it difficult to get the detailed 
detailed strokes, like the thinner lines. Okay, so we'll go in and we'll do a little bit of an outline there, a little bit in, in the flower, like that. That's good. A little bit of the petals down here. Okay, and that looks good. And also maybe give this a little bit of an outline just on one side, kind of like, like just to the side. There we go. And then also right here, this red flower. I'm gonna rinse off my brush. And then for this color, we're gonna add a little bit of brown to it and a little bit of red and add some water a little more brown more brown need a little more water in this brown there we go make it easier to pick up the color okay brown and red and that's good so I'm just gonna add a couple of strokes in here like that like that it doesn't have to be perfect There we go. And then a little bit just in the middle, kind of like going in between, almost like a, like a ball, um, just to show where the center of the flower is. Kind of like trying to go in between the little stems. Okay, and then also, I'm gonna actually just get just straight brown, just straight brown, and go in right here where the the middle of the little daisies are kind of like that that right there right there and okay so that looks good I rinse off my brush and then going back in for the violet and then just adding some like before we're doing we're gonna do more color towards the bottom and then as we're going up and away from the base, we're just gonna kind of like spread out the color so that it gives the the feeling of it getting lighter that way. Okay, just a little by little. There we go. Okay, I rinse off my brush. And then this darker violet that we have here, we're actually gonna use that to do a little dot in the middle of the flowers that are right here. Like that. And then we can also actually use it just to give them a little bit of an outline. Just a little bit, not too much. Just go slowly. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Let me let me again take a look at it. Okay, yeah, I, I like how this looks. And the last thing that we'll add is in the daisies. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of brown, a little bit of brown, and maybe a little bit of this red. Just kind of work it in. Okay. Just towards the base of the petals, just a little bit right there. That's, let's see. A little bit towards the base of the petals. There, 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 and there. Okay. Oh, and I just realized that little. That little flower right there, I didn't even see that. <clears throat> it's very easy. With that one, we're just gonna gra grab some yellow and just go right in, right there. That's it. We're good with that. So it's looking pretty good. We're just gonna grab a little bit of the blue. A little bit, not a lot. It doesn't need to be very saturated. We're just gonna grab and do one line. Just This is for the vase. One blue line right here. 
and then another blue line right here okay so all of that looks good rinse off my brush and grab some red and with the red I'm gonna add a little bit of water and we're just gonna go in for the outline of the heart right around the edge and go like that I'm gonna go in between here going down in here go like that and up here like that and then up here it doesn't have to be perfect don't don't stress out if it's not perfect you're just kind of following making it a thick outline around the the line for the heart okay Now you can stop here if you want, but what I did in when I first uh, colored it in, just to see how the colors work out, um, what I did was uh, I outlined a lot of it with the black, so kind of giving going in the different flowers because you can see that even though it looks pretty good, if you add a little bit of black here and there it makes the it makes all of the colors because it's a very colorful piece but it makes it pop um, just because black is such a um, background color it helps all of the vibrant colors in the flowers really really stand out really pop so that's what I'm gonna focus on now um, we're pretty much done with all the different coloring of the whole piece now we can just focus on doing some black outlines and so again you want to go with the tip of the brush um, to make thin lines um, if you go if you're too much at an angle like this you'll have difficulty making thick lines you really want to keep the brush kind of like up like this because this is what helps you get really nice thin lines. So if I'm kind of like blocking the camera a little bit, uh, you know, excuse me for that. But that way you can see you can get really fine lines if you're just if you keep the brush more uh, vertical. Um, so yeah, let me get to that. I'm gonna grab, and then also I I, I have my uh, I have I'll have my sheet. actually I'm just gonna put my sheet right here, um, just so you you can see exactly kind of how I'm going about it. Like I grab a bunch of the black and then I'll kind of like clear it off on the edge there and then just maybe yeah clean up and then just go do a, maybe a one or two practice strokes right here grab a little more just so that um, just so that I can make sure when I'm actually doing it on the piece itself it comes out okay because um, this is a very strong color and there's no real way to get around uh, covering up any mis mistakes that I make with it. Uh, that being said, don't like don't let it freak you out or like don't stress out about it. but okay, so I'm just gonna go right here just like that. a little bit on the pedal right there. okay and then a little bit in between these little uh, petals or stems there maybe a little bit around the petals here just kind of outlining the circular shape like that a little bit in the stem and again I'm just trying to make sure that the camera can see so it's it would be easier like if I go straight up and down like this, it makes it way easier to make like little fine lines. Like that. Like that. Oh, I forgot that the yellows. That yellow is very fresh. Yeah, I'm not gonna even bother trying to fix that because I could make it worse. Um, but yeah, just very fine go slowly 
no need to rush. And then just kind of going in. It doesn't even have to be like exactly perfect. Um, you don't have to go perfectly along with the um, with the original marks underneath. Um, you you can just kind of have fun with it. You know, you can try to make it a little more uh, like an impressionist strokes, giving the suggestion, um, and also variety. Try to make sure that all of your strokes don't look exactly the same. You know, like make some of them a little thinner, a little some of them a little wider. Uh, it, it really makes the whole thing look more interesting. Okay, and just some straight lines here for where the petals are. Kind of help define the shapes a little more. Okay. There we go. slowly see like especially with the black standing right next to the yellow that really like it makes them pop so much it makes those flowers just really come out like that in the vase and then kind of an outline here at the base of where these flowers are outlining some of the petals not all of them just kind of like randomly okay and then this flower like that this petal okay or this leaf I meant to say and then these little petals are down here Okay, and these ones, just like the very quick short strokes. Yeah, be, be cognizant of where your palm's been because uh, you don't want to like get any of the... Um, of the black paint on here. Okay. And just outline some of these just, just to give the idea that there's leaves there. And then this flower, just kind of like some strokes to show where the petals are. Like that. And get a little more black and then the, the little rose looking flower down here again in the petals just a little bit and then the leaf down here the violet petals back here and you can really see how like it slowly just starts to pop out the more it's kind of difficult, you try not to overdo all the black, you just want the suggestion for the definition of the different flowers and petals. Because if you do too much, it can definitely make, you know, like overpower the image. But just enough, you know, like giving those little suggestions, it almost, it helps the viewer have kind of like an anchor. Um, which helps then view the complicated image a little better and then also down here for the for the vase the vase i'm just going to outline it all like that because it helps it pop uh, away from the heart in the background and that's that's pretty much it we are done with this image let me just step back for a moment yeah looks very nice um, I'm very happy with it. Um, I did, I did do another version. Like this is, I usually, whenever I make these, I do a couple of different 
iterations of them just to see how they look. Um, I had the idea that when I made the first one, it's like you can you can write from you know from whomever to whomever. Um, that's why I left so much space on the top and the bottom. Um, so it's almost like a card. Uh, once you're finished painting it, you can write from to and it can be just like a card like a like a valentine's day, valentine's day card uh you know if you're sitting down and painting this with your significant other when you're done you could just like exchange them if you'd like um but yeah that's pretty much it for this one um if there's any questions you know leave them in the comments um i'll be happy to answer them hopefully it's it's a complicated image but you just kind of go step by step and layer it in um, and it should all come out just fine. Um, that was it. Uh, thank you for painting with me and I will see you next time.